Gross. What am I doing here sweating in this wonderful little area of LA? All I got, if you can see straight up ahead, a forklift rollover and where the tracks go up ahead, it dead ends for the road. There's no other access. Someone dropped the forklift on that side and we got to get it back in the loading dock. Absolutely no other access but from up there. So I'm clearing a path. Hulk is way too fat for this job. Not possible, but I think our medium duty 16 ton will be perfect. And here's what it looks like at the only possible entrance. We are not allowed to cross these. I mean, even if I could, like I said, there's no possible access from any other way. And this only entrance is so narrow. Here's a shopping cart for reference. It could fit maybe three of them side by side. So this is gonna be fun. Look, people are very friendly in LA. I moved all this junk out of the way and they saw by instead of they can keep it. It ain't mine. So, because these are live tracks, if you look at the space between this line right here and the tracks, it's less than a few feet. And these tracks are deep. Of course, they're, they're train tracks. They'll bust up your stuff driving over them. So what I'm gonna do is very quick, as soon as Joe gets here, lay down a piece of wood on each side gonna come northbound right here and quickly back up once he gets on this side of the tracks I'll take out the wood and then we'll back him up to the forklift we got to be very quiet not to wake up the resident homeless encampment here they can get quite grouchy and violent and confrontational I'm trying to be in and out of this ah there goes Joe Brief them really quick on what the plan is. We'll get some wood out. All right, Jojo, you got this. Joe's easily one of my best drivers. We set down some wood right there where he's gonna hit. Waited for the red light. Stand on this side to back up Joe. No, no, no. Back up. Joe. I'll spot you, bro. Keep coming. Oh, it's because of the line up ahead. with the wood so I have to put the phone down but you got it Joe yeah it'll come in at a more extreme angle as you can see right there now let's get him back all right so these tracks have about a three hour cycle before the trains come and one came while I was surveying the scene so we got about two and a half hours plenty of time Train stuff right here. Very tight spot. Hello. Woohoo! Good job. That's why when I'm in the bind, send me Joe, Mr. Coffee.
like babies, bro. Proof that I don't do every job with the rotator. Yo, it was funny when I was clearing the path right now, all the homeless guys right now were dogging me. Yeah? Are you taking their stuff? I wasn't even their stuff because I was outside of the encampment, but let's see. So this is easy since we got only two lines on this and it's only a 16 ton wrecker. Joe will be fully extended at an angle. He'll have a lift and a catch go up with both of them. And as it comes over, more in with the lift, let out with the catch, get it straight with the one a propane tank right here. And hopefully I could just back it all the way out because we're not going to get it in this dock. We we're not going to be able to get it in this dock from here. So with the propane tank Joe brought, I'll be able to fire it up and hopefully back up out of here. If not, Joe will just tow me out. And then we just put this in through the front side. It's unfortunate the part they don't really show you in the, the glamorous Hollywood movies. You got Skid Row in LA and we're right by it. Like homeless capital of the nation. I believe that's what, what happened here. They, they broke into this warehouse trying to steal stuff and Someone who can't operate a forklift did this in the middle of the night. That's good, Joe. Well, let's set out the outriggers. Little baby outriggers compared to Hulk. Okay, walked out the boom. Joe's gonna get the chains. You could do the short, open-ended ones, Joe. Huh? You could do the container chain on one side. It'll be on the, on the inside right here, like that, and just close it up. Okay, we're gonna be lifting our catch and start booming up. This ain't as pretty as you guys are used to with Hulk and all my crazy fancy rigging. Getting the job done. Freeze pulls off, Joe? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. We'll turn it off. Going on the cable. That's good right there. That's good height. Right. When it came over, see how it's all mingled up in here. Easy peasy. So to stop these gonna I'm gonna put a chain right here to prevent it from going. Back down and opening up. Simple fix. Nice and tight. All right, good job. Resume lift. Now go in with your lift to bring it to you against the, uh, away from the wall. The lift line, the other red one. There's two red ones. No, Joe, the other, the, your catch, I mean. There you go. Both of them at the same time, it'll drag it to you. I know a thing or two. I know a thing or two. Nice. Dang, Joe, you've done this before? Should put you in a rotator. Okay, hold on. From right there, go in with both cables one more time. Both? Let's get it away from that wall, please. You're doing great. A little bit more.
Good. Move all this first. All right, recovery is done. First things first. You got that propane tank? Yeah, I brought one. Oh, try it. We have one, but if you have one, let's try to see if it'll run. We're not gonna move the mass at all, so I don't have to worry about the controls, but if I could back it up all the way, it saves us from towing it. Let me put the phone down and help Joe with the boxes. Uh, I had this thing lifted right now in the back so we can get some of that stuff under here. Because if you're driven these forklifts, I'll have no traction on this stuff. They're horrible. I'm hoping I'm able to just back it up all the way. But if not, we could just rear tow it. Like I think I found the culprits. <laughs> They always return to the scene of the crime. Man, these guys were desperate to steal this. Look what they did to the ignition. <laughs> these fools really try to. These fools are savage. See if it'll start. I won't be surprised they took the battery, no? No juice. They probably left the battery dying. Yeah, I figure. Let's just tow it. Yeah, we gotta tow it off. Yeah, we'll do. We'll go from the pin right here. Yeah, we'll put a chain there and I'll pull you out. I'll steer it. Oh, it doesn't steer, huh? No, but once they start pulling on you, you can tell I'll steer you out. So the front wheels are gonna stay locked. If we get the rear off the ground a bit, it'll be a lot easier. Yeah, you can lift it up. All right, let's do that. There. So you guys have seen my other videos. It's a similar concept called uh walking the dog so i got the rear tires airborne and we're extended out far enough so there's no way this forklift can can swing into the back of the truck the front wheels stay locked so joe's just gonna drive it out papitas or what oh yeah Got some of that stuff. This is, by the way, uh, what do you call it? Not wrapping paper, but pinata stuffing. And that stuff you put like in birthday bags, the tissue paper. And the forks aren't gonna go down at all because Joe chained it. Yay! Got all kinds of stuff in our way. Oh, there's someone on the tracks. Man, I love my rotator, but I love calls like this. Calls where you just can't brute force it. You can't just use your 50 ton rotator to muscle it out. Oh, and if you're wondering, yes, this smells putrid, horrible. I'm holding my breath, I'm about to pass out. All right, this is the part where it gets very narrow. I'm gonna run up ahead and spot drill with the wood. Absolutely beautiful. Joe, you the man, buddy! Now right here's a big old shoulder. You'll see right here with the arrows. I'm gonna post 
just up here while they got the red light. And I'm gonna grab his wood. And then with the quick turn on 22nd from Alameda. <laughs> Poor Hulk, mad. No action for you today, Hulk. All right, now, uh, since it doesn't run, I'm gonna have to spot Joe so we can go ahead and into the, the shop right here and then we can put it on the dock. Now we got room to work. I spoke too soon. They do need Hulk after all. They want Joe to back it in here. And then Hulk to lift it up and put it inside of the, the dock. Now it's big boy time. This thing is tiny. Hulk's gonna eat this for breakfast. The 16 ton is a very versatile truck as you've seen. Amazing medium duty tow truck. But it has limitations. Wouldn't be able to boom high enough with the forklift to get this thing in here. But they want it in the corner since it doesn't run. And that's where Hulk comes in. Joe's gonna back out. I'm gonna go a few more feet back. Pick this thing up off the side then rotate and fully extend out inside of this bay. Now the real fun begins. My BA car straps, not just good for cars. So you why on this side, Joe still has his chain up there. And my 5 8 5 8 5 16 car strap chain fits perfectly in there, even with the other chain in that hole. I was not monitoring it, but my iPhone died. I was recording this entire time on that, in case it's not obvious, but luckily I got the Sony inside of the truck. Good. So I'm going as direct as, po oh yeah, put the foundry hook, Joe, on that one. I don't need height on this one, it's the opposite. On Hold on, Joe. The opposite, grab the hook and throw it on the inside, yes. And make it come out the back. So just flip the foundry hook, just like that. Ready? Okay, step down, sir. Now as I boom up, it's gonna slightly go and skid over as it rotates. <laughs> Oh, heavy stuff, Joe. Too heavy. It's too heavy for Hulk. Let's get up there close. Look at that gap. So let's extend out. Let's see, boom down. Yeah, boom down. Cables out. Ta-da! Of course. Then all I gotta do is rotate once I get the front tires in.
Um, well, classic Josh. I underestimated the height. I thought uh, if I go really tight right there on the lift points, but because of the snatch blocks, it's not going to clear inside. Easy solution, I just single line it. Alright, should be much easier now. This should give us at least another like three feet. Nice! Snatch block rollover. Just leave that one up there because once we put it inside, it'll be easier for me to put my blocks back on. Alright, now let's see if it worked. Yes, sir. Now I can go in all the way with the cables. Right there. And then I can tighten up on this one. Kill my idle, put the uh, the throttle down, and then the two to the left, down. Yeah, both of them. Thank you. Yeah, it worked. No wonder last time I couldn't see, because it doesn't show blue on the free spool, so I got confused. Now I know. Now you know. So much easier without the blocks, dude. Always another way. So I had to put the camera down so I could come in on this side. Show you guys how crazy this is. It's actually quite simple. I just go out with the cables while I'm extending out. And then right here when it catches, check this out. Go in with the blue. Then I drop the cables. And I do this process one more time. Ta-da! Bam, Joe, how do you like that? I like that. Professional. That's Pepe's work. Professional, guys. <laughs> so you couldn't do this with the flatbed? You know what? Let me drop out with the white. Well, I got it. Let me rotate it because it's got to go in that spot, right? Here, we'll do the whole thing with the blue cable. Bam. Right there. Drop it right there. How are you getting it up? You didn't work. Well, they wanted it in this little corner, so. Try that out with that. It's okay, just you know, you can do a little bit now. Oh, okay. It's okay, you know, very easy now. Enough. Yeah, we can do it now. You gotta fix it. Right. Like that? A little more out. out. A little more out. Yeah, right. out, out. Alright, so this is where they, they want the final resting spot. I guess so they can come over here, walk underneath, and start working on this. Now, if you were thinking, could have done this with the flat, but of course, you would winch it up, but it's level. You'd have to tilt up pretty high to get it to roll off, and this thing doesn't roll. They jacked it up. You would have to lift up the rear to get it to roll, and even then, 
they don't have another forklift on site so they wouldn't be able to get it into parallel to the loading dock and into this spot. It's not like I'm on the clock for this anyways. I quoted this as, a, no the other one Joe, the middle, yeah. I quoted it, quoted this as a flat rate so everything from here on on, here on out is on me. Joe's just gonna help me with the snatch blocks, put those back on, and we're out of here. Look how easy that was to put the blocks back on. They had us put a pallet underneath it so they can work on it. We are out of here, guys. Peace.